If you're a big swim team and you like to order a lot of gear, maybe you ought to check out Swim Outlet Team Division for these reasons. Swim teams receive a 10% discount on bulk orders. Swim teams or organizations get an 8% commission on referred sales. You'll also like their customization services, which is affordable and available at all times during the year for all team gear. With over 50,000 items in stock, you can get most anything you want. Swim Outlet Team Division. You need to try it out. You'll be glad you did. This is the Morning Swim Show for Friday, October 18th, 2013. I'm your host, Jeff Cummings. Joining me today in the Finise Monitor will be Alex Katz. He just announced that he's going to the University of Michigan next fall, and in a matter of weeks, he'll be in Asia competing with the USA Swimming Junior Team at the World Cup meets. And let's bring in Alex now via Skype from Sarasota, Florida. Alex, good to see you. How are you today? I'm good. Well, uh, tell us how high school's senior year is going for you right now. Uh, everything's going pretty well. It's been kind of chaotic recently because of recruiting trips and everything, but now that I've committed, it's starting to settle down. And then uh, you gotta, you're going to be taking like another week to go do some traveling in Asia, so it just a lot of, lot of busy time for you. Mm -hmm. Well, let's talk about uh, committing to, to Michigan, and I, just take me through your thought process on this. You live in Sarasota, where it's pretty much warm and sunny every day, and now you're going to be committed to go to Ann Arbor, where pretty much you had to dress up like Kenny from South Park just to get from your door to the car. I mean, I guess weather just didn't have, didn't play any factor in, in making your college decision? No, everybody talks about the weather there and how cold it's going to be, but I don't really think it's that big of a factor for me. After living in Florida my whole life, I actually think it'd be, it'll be kind of cool to actually experience seasons. Yeah, I guess it probably, it probably will be. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll talk again once you experience your first um, <laughs> Michigan winter where it's pretty much three feet of snow every day. So uh, what, was, what was the reason why you, you really chose Michigan to go to college? Well, after my trip there, I just kind of got that feeling that everyone talks about where I just knew that if I went there, I could be really happy there. And just academically and athletically and culturally, I just felt like it had everything I want in the school. So I feel like I made the right choice. Well, let's talk about all three of those. Obviously, um, athletically, it's the best team in the country right now. They're the reigning NCAA champions. Uh, you know, you got people, I know you're not a, an extreme distance swimmer like the 1500, but I would imagine um, getting to uh, train with people like Connor Yeager uh, and increase your, your freestyle prowess probably played a little bit of a factor. Mm -hmm. You know, it'll be good to help that aerobic base that kind of drives so many events. I don't, like you said, I'm not like a huge distance swimmer. I don't really stretch into the mile, but I mean, it's good to train that way every once in a while. And uh, academically, do you have any idea of what you plan to study there? Um, I know their business school is really good, so I, I might look into that. Okay. And then you said um, culturally, it, it kind of had what you wanted. Go tell us more about that. Well, I just got a really good vibe with the team and. Like, the atmosphere on campus was great, and I don't know, I just feel like I could fit in there. And then if you want to get some big city feel, Detroit's not too far away. Yeah, so might be some good concerts or something going through there every once in a while. Well, uh, you had a pretty good summer, I would say. You, you got to travel to Dubai for the Junior World Championships, picked up a bronze medal in the, two, in the 800 free relay, got fourth in the 200 back, and no, probably not... The best place is nobody likes getting fourth um, in any event. But um, tell us what the experience was like for you. Um, well, even if I didn't do as well as I had hoped, like it's always good to get experience on like big meets like that whenever you can, just so that later on when you are like ready to perform at your highest capabilities, like you're more comfortable on that sort of level. So. I don't know, it was just good to get out there and race. I only, it was only my second USA swimming meet, so I was pretty happy with how I did overall. And what's, what was the, 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 you talked a lot of, to a lot of the people who had gone to the meet, and they talked about how great the team vibe was. What was it like for you being among the, a team that you probably knew well from, you know, some of these people had gone to Junior Pan Packs with you the year before? Well, like you said, I did know a few of them decently well before the meet, but like, I don't know, it was crazy to get so close with some of the people and just like the week we were out there a little bit longer than a week. But like 
I don't know, leading the trip, I feel like I was pretty good friends with a lot of the guys and girls there, so it was just a really good time. I had a lot of fun. And then, um, as I said, in a couple of weeks, you're going to be traveling to Asia. You're going to be competing in the World Cup meets in Beijing and Tokyo. Um, is this, will this be your first time in, in those uh, countries? Yes. So, um, obviously, it's going to be a brand new experience for you, never having been to, to China and to, to, to uh, Japan. And I've talked to a couple other people who are going on this trip with you. And um, one thing they told me was that they're really excited to be able to swim in the water cube where they had the 2008 Olympics. So uh, tell me what your, kind of, what your goal is to get out of these meets. Um, just to get more experience on this level and swim as fast as I can. And I'm really looking forward to hanging out with the team again and getting to know them even better and just having a lot of fun. It's going to be a good trip. Yeah. And you mentioned that the, uh, the Junior Worlds was your first big kind of like USA swimming meet. You swim for the Sarasota YMCA Sharks, and they, um, you know, are really, really popular in the YMCA level, won the past eight national championships. What's the secret to success there to keep, that keeps that team doing so well? Um, it just kind of gets back to, like, team vibes again. Like, we just have a really good team vibe, and we're all goal-driven, and we know what we want to do, so we do our best to do what we can to get there. Tell me about some of the people that train with you on a regular basis, Sarasota. Um, well, a really big influence on me has always been my sister, and she swims for the University of Florida now, but she was on Sarasota with me up until this year. And then as for guys, we have um, a guy named Liam McCain. He's a good friend of mine. He's a good training partner. Um, another guy named Carter Page is really good. He's also a good training partner. So practice is always, well, usually always pretty enjoyable. Probably pretty intense. I would imagine when you're teenagers, you're always wanting to, to beat everybody else. It can get intense. <laughs> um, so what's the, what's the better meet? USA Swimming, Junior Nationals, or the YMCA Nationals? Um, I mean, I don't know if I like one more than the other. Like, YMCA Nationals is kind of like, I mean, it's more of a fun meet, you know, where, I mean, I don't really know how to describe it. It's just the atmosphere is a lot different, but I like it a lot. And then I also like Junior Nationals just because it's got everybody, not just the Y-Sober. So a lot more people to race and more intense almost. Okay. Well, it's all, but what I've seen, YMCA Nationals is almost like a big carnival where you got like all, all, more than a thousand swimmers just racing and just having a, a really good time. Seems like one of the most fun meets that's out there. Yeah, it's really fun. Um, and you got to swim at USA Swimming Nationals at Senior Nationals this past uh, June. You got seventh place in the tuner back. First of all, what was it like racing in that final with people like Ryan Lochte and Tyler Clary? Well, I was actually more nervous before prelims just because I wanted to get into that final. Like, it was my goal. So then once I was there, I was just like, wow. wow like, this is crazy to be, like, racing these guys. So uh, it was just a really cool experience. And I think I might have lost a bit of focus at finals just because I was so, like, just happy to be there. So I kind of just relaxed a little bit when I shouldn't have. So I added a little bit at finals. But I'm just glad I had the opportunity to swim in that heat and hopefully – the next time I'm racing those guys, I can do a little better. So for you, having a relaxed attitude doesn't necessarily mean faster swimming? Um, it depends. Like, I can, I think my best swims have happened when I was, like, like nervous and, like, jacked up to go. So when I'm relaxed, it can, it can be good and bad. Because if you're too nervous, then you just kind of tighten up, you know? Yeah, definitely sorry, true. Sorry. Definitely true. So besides learning to, besides the, the mental aspect, what did you take away from um, your experience at Senior Nationals? Um, well, it was just more experience. Like I've been talking about with the other meets, you know, just like the more experience you can get, like racing at that level against the best people that there are, like the better you'll be the next time you get an opportunity to race them. So it just kind of, kind of builds up. Yeah. So 158.8, I believe, is your best time to turn back. Uh, we're looking for 157 next summer? Maybe 156? Oh. Yeah, that's what the goal is, 56, 57. Well, it's, it's definitely going to put you in the hunt for uh, being top five, top, top four even. And who knows, we may, uh, we may be talking about you in, in 2016. 
be nice. <laughs> it would be nice indeed. Well, Alex, before we let you go, we want to um, submit you to the final five. These are five questions we ask all of our guests to kind of get to know them a little bit better. So we're going to start off with our first question, which is, if you could change the order of strokes in the individual medley, how would you change it? Um, hmm. I would like breaststroke to be somewhere else because breaststroke is not my thing at all. And so sometimes that after the backstroke, I'll have a good lead and then all the breaststrokers just catch up to me. So if I could get that breaststroke somewhere else, maybe it could be a little different. Probably first to get it out of the way. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's a career or a job that you would most like to try? Um, well, I've always been interested in film. So something in the film industry like that. Directing and writing, that'd be really cool. Okay, that would be interesting. Academy Award winner, Alex Katz. <laughs> and what's a job you would not like to try? Um, I don't think I would want to be a lawyer. Okay, but you could probably make a film about lawyers. So yeah, good. maybe. <laughs> um, if you could change or add any of the rules in the swimming rule book, what would it be? Um... Hmm. I don't really know. I've never thought about that before. Well, it takes be interesting, interesting to do like flip turns on flying brushstroke. Like I like the two-handed turns, but just just for some sort of answer, I think that would be interesting. Okay, yeah, that definitely would be interesting. All right, last question, Alex. Where do you most like to go on vacation? Um. Mm, oh, I live in Florida, so we have some good theme parks here, and even though. I like the out-of-state vacations I've been on. Like, I always love going to, like, Universal Studios, you know. Theme parks are always fun. Yeah, you can't, can't beat anything close to home when you got the big theme parks in the world. Well, Alex, thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate your time. Good luck with uh, your trip to Asia. Have fun there, and uh, we'll be looking for you uh, down the road. Thank you. All right, so that's going to do it for today's edition of the Morning Swim Show. You can go to SwimmingWorld.com for all the latest news in aquatic sports and also like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. I'm Jeff Cummings. Thanks for watching.